What's going on everybody? So in today's video I gotta explain the reduce method in JavaScript. The reduce method reduces the elements of an array to a single value. In this example, we'll create an array of prices, as if it was a shopping cart. We'll sum all of the prices within our shopping cart and return a total. We'll need an array to work with. Const prices equals an array. Think of some prices, type in anything, as long as it's a number. I'll keep this simple and use whole numbers. I'll add something that is $5, another that is 30, 10, 25, 15, and 20. We will create a variable for a total. Const total equals take our array of prices. We will use the built-in reduce method of arrays, but we do need to pass in a callback to a function. We need to create a function that will sum all of these values. Let's create a function to sum. Our sum function will have two parameters. The first will be an accumulator. The second will be the next element. All we're going to do is return our accumulator plus our element. I'll explain how this works momentarily. I just want to be sure that everything runs fine first. Within the reduce method, we'll pass in a callback to the sum function that will return a single value, a total in this case. Let's see what our total is. Console.log, I'll use a template string, pick a unit of currency, I'll pick American dollars. Add a placeholder, let's display our total. So my total is $105. If you would like to add cents to the end of that, you can follow this with the to fixed method, then add two decimal places for cents. All right, so how does this work exactly? We have two parameters, accumulator and element. It might be easier if I were to rename these parameters. You can rename parameters. Let's say accumulator is the previous element. Element is the next element. We're returning the previous element plus the next element. During the first iteration, we'll our accumulator is five. The next element is 30. Then we are going to return the accumulator plus 30, which is 35. We'll return this to the accumulator during the next iteration. The accumulator is now 35. The next element is 10. 35 plus 10 would give us 45. Return that to the accumulator and add the next element, 25. So you just follow that pattern. All right, let's go over another example. We'll create an array of grades. Const grades equals, these will be some number grades, 75, 50, 90, 80, 65, and 95. We'll find the maximum value from this array. We'll create a constant to hold to the maximum value. What is the maximum score? Const maximum equals take our grades array use the built-in reduce method, then we need to pass in a callback to the reduce method. We need a function to get max. There's two parameters, an accumulator and the next element. Like I said, feel free to rename them. We will return the max method of math. Math.max, pass in these two parameters, accumulator and the next element. Within the reduce method, we'll pass in a callback to get max. The value returned will be the maximum grade from this array. So let's console.log whatever the maximum is. The maximum score from this array is 95. Let's do this with the minimum. Let's copy this function. Change any instance of max to min. Get min math.min. Let's create a new constant, const minimum equals our array of grades. Use the reduce method to return a single value, then pass in a callback to get min. Let's console.log the minimum. The minimum score from this array is 50. All right, everybody, that is the reduce method. It's a built-in method of arrays 
To reduce the elements of an array to a single value, you can use it to sum the elements of an array. Another possibility is to find the minimum or maximum value from an array. And well, everybody, that is the reduce method in JavaScript.